Hello, and how's everybody doing today? It's a wonderful day to be part of Giver Marketing Network, and we're so excited to be here today talking to you a little bit more about how to collaborate. A lot of times collaboration is one of those things we want to do, but we don't always know how to do. But luckily today we have a bunch of marketing experts in the room. So excited to see everybody here. And so feel free to make comments and we'll be responding. So whatever comments you've got, go ahead and make them below whatever social media platform that you're tuning in in from. So we're going to have a lot of fun. So I see we've got everybody muted here. Feel free to unmute and say hi. Introduce yourself. Let us know a little bit about who you are so we know who our panelists are that are talking and sharing today. Stacy, floor is yours. Hi. 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 Thank you. I am tuning in from Manitoba, Canada, the only Canadian probably in the room. Maybe have some people online watching here. So if you are, drop a link. Let us know where you are tuning in from. I'm the Giver Marketing Team Coordinator. And I'm here to just have fun with y'all and tell you how my experience networking has been and what it's been like to um, be in all kinds of rooms, meet all kinds of different people, have multiple discussions and figure out what is best for my business and how I can serve my clients. Exactly. Welcome, Stacey and Laura. Hi, everyone. I am Laura and I am here from Oklahoma. Um, and I'm here just to kind of collaborate with everyone, talk about marketing, so we can definitely do to help you in your business. And Laura, what is it that you do? I own a virtual assistant agency that helps um, small businesses, women-owned businesses, really staff their business so that they can focus on all the right things. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you, Laura. Glad to have your input today. Christy Rimmel, hello. Hello, everybody. I am um, dialing in, I guess, from Dallas, uh, right up the street from Christine. And my business is really uh, website design, social media, uh, marketing, and graphic design. And Christine invited me last minute. And my next meeting just canceled. So here I am. We're glad to have you here. I know collaboration is a big part of your business, plus what you do with the DFW Veterans Chamber as the president there. So glad to have your input today. And Tim, hello. Hello, hello. So I am tuning in from northern Michigan. I'm actually a Floridian now, but I'm up here visiting family. So I have the privilege of being with you all today. I am a brand strategist. I work with socially minded leaders and their organizations to clarify and communicate what I call is their noble purpose. So um, just a, a way of walking people through values centered business that um, is a way to leverage your marketing, get everybody on the same page with, uh, with a higher purpose, not, not just about the money, we want to help people find profitable solutions to the problems of people on the planet. Absolutely. And branding is all about that, knowing who you're, what your goal is in life and how you can help others love it. And that's kind of what our theme is here with Giver Marketing. Giver Marketing is all about giving back and giving back to the community, helping people promote their businesses in a way and, and work together collaboratively. That's one of the things that we love to do here. I'm Christine Dean, my business DFW Networking Diva. I love to connect people and I'm a marketing coach. So you're amongst experts here and uh, so excited to have this conversation about how to collaborate. Right. That's one of those things that make people a little bit nervous. They want to do it. They don't know how to do it. They're not sure what to do. What if you're collaborating within the same industry? Right. These are all issues you run into and you're like, well, I don't want you to steal my clients. Right. So can we trust each other? There's a lot of issues that come along with collaboration, but it can also get you ahead. Right. With your business. So I'm just going to open the floor with whoever wants to jump forward on that. Well, I think we can use, I, I put some slides together that we can all comment on because the, it's it's fairly straightforward. I'm sure we will all say the same things, um, but the first and most important thing, I believe, uh, when it comes to, to your clients and building relationships is think transformation, not transaction. If we're, if we're trying to walk our clients through and we do a good job of communicating with them, uh, you know, hey, this is where you are and, and this is where you want to be and I'm the person that can help you move from 
here to there. And it's a transformational purpose, uh, uh, sorry, a transformational process. And that's why the butterfly is there. I, I couldn't think of anything better than the, 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 the butterfly and, um, and the cocoon and how it emerges to become something special. So that's the, that's the first thing. The, when it comes to collaboration, I think the three things, the three most effective things uh, for, for, for collaboration is to, to have clarity, to um, have connection and, and make your contribution. So I don't know if, uh, you know, if anyone else in the group wants to speak to clarity, um, but if you look at this next slide, I think it's vital that when you're collaborating, whether, um, you know, whoever it may be, make sure that you're working with somebody that you share their values and a vision, a common vision. Mm -hmm. You want to be moving in the same direction. If it's going to be any kind of, um, real solidified relationship. You know, it's, if you're going to be, you're going to be working together, obviously you want to be moving in a, in a similar direction, sharing similar values. You, you, you also want to know yourself and what separates you from the people that you're collaborating with. Because mm -hmm. everyone in this room, we're in the marketing space, but I know that my audience is going to be a, a very specific type of person. And I'm not at all worried that, that somebody else is going to take that person, um, as Christine has already mentioned, because I, I know I, I, I'm me, I'm Tim, and I have my, my way of, of interacting and dealing with people and communicating with them. So I have my personality. I have my brand that somebody is going to resonate with and Christine is going to have her brand mm -hmm. and her audience that is going to resonate with her, even though they may be in similar markets. So I think that that's vital to know your unique differentiator. Mm -hmm. Also know your audience and make sure that you, um, you establish what the expectations are in those relationships. So mm -hmm. I don't know, you guys have any comments on any of those thoughts? Yeah, I do. Oh, sorry, Christine, go ahead. Go for it, Stacy. jump in. So yeah, this is like perfect because we have ideal clients, we have ideal uh, avatars. So if I'm meeting someone that I get to the end of the conversation and I feel, oh, that's not really my avatar, but hey, I have another referral for you. Tim will be able to help you better. Let me make an introduction for you. Or Christine will be able to help you better. Let me do that introduction. So that is what the whole collaboration is about, is also knowing who your uh, network is, that if you personally can't help them, you could say, well, that's not for me, but it is, some, I do have someone in my network that can help you. Can I, you know, will you accept a referral instead kind of thing? And that's the key to collaboration and taking away the, the fear in collaborating and doing those things because if i pass someone to tim or christine i trust and know that along their journey they're going to find someone that doesn't suit their avatar and they're going to send somebody back my way too and we just have to let go and release when we're collaborating together let release that um fear of oh if i do this i'm going to lose clients and they're going to find other people you know no this is not what this is about at all this is definitely about being open and knowing who you serve as a business owner personally, and then you, your network, who your network serves, so that when there are those times, you have the next person to pass along to. And Stacy, what really popped in my mind while you both were talking was the idea of clarity and knowing what you want out of the collaboration. So I'm like, I want to collaborate. Great. What do you want to collaborate on? How do you want to do that? How do you want to work together, right? Figuring out that the details on that, right? So you do this, I do that. How are we going to do this, right? A lot of times people don't come with a plan at all, right? So you kind of have an idea. And when, as you talk, sometimes that emerges, right? As you discover what you have in common and I do this and you do that. And even within the same industry, a lot of times there's niches, right? Things that you want to do, things that you don't do, right? And, and we can't be all good at everything, 
right? So, um, you know, if you want a YouTube expert, we've got a, a buddy in the, you know, Giver Marketing Network that's fantastic at YouTube, right? So just kind of push them in that direction because we're really all about doing what's best for our clients, right? And so when you can collaborate without that fear, right, we can do what's best for our clients rather than, you know, sorry, can't help you or, you know, that doesn't do anybody any good, right? So it's really nice clarity. Know what you want and, and have an idea on how you can make that happen. Absolutely. I agree with you, Christine, having those, taking the fear out of that. There's plenty to kind of, to go around. I think everybody gets in that, especially when they're just coming into business, they get into the, I really just need clients and, you know, and I need to make sure I hold on to everything. And sometimes that can really work against you because then you realize quickly um, that was not a client that you work as easily with, where it would be much better to get them to where they need to be so they don't have a bad experience or a bad taste in their mouth about everyone. Because, you know, we can be logged into how an experience, um, how they experience something in the beginning. And then they're, you know, businesses like, I didn't have a good experience, so I'm just not going to do it at all. Right. Um, and more so just knowing that that may have been a bad experience for that one general person, but the next person that you meet might be the perfect fit for you. So always just kind of knowing that um, we don't need to take on everything. You know, I have power partners that I love. Um, and we are actually direct competition and I've called them several times and be like, okay, this is not a fit for us. I would love you to take on this client. I'm going to do an, an introduction and stuff. Let me know what you think. And, you know, it really helps. And at least that way, um, that person, that business got a good experience from jump. And then you're not hearing the horror stories of things that can happen initially. So... I Absolutely. think the other the other part for collaboration is um, knowing what your strengths are, right? So I mm -hmm. I like to work with clients that give me their content. It's already done. And I just copy and paste, and I'm I love that type of client. And then sometimes you get the clients that don't have the content, or the content needs to be edited, and that's usually when I send them to Christine because <laughs> I am like. Uh, that that's not for me not that i can't do it and i've done it but if you have somebody that you can say hey this client needs a little bit more attention than than what i have can you help them out and then i pass them up to her and then when they're done they come back to me and then i can finish the the project right um and so i think collaboration in that respect it's not really losing clients is providing that value that your client needs in order to be successful Absolutely. Great explanation there, Christy, right? Because we all have different strengths and niches. So when we can work with other people that have other strengths that complement our own, it works fantastic. Well, so there's a whole bunch on clarity right there. Yeah. <laughs> Tim, you had something else? Yeah, of course. Well, I think that the reason that we need to have this conversation and why why Giver Marketing is, is putting it out there into the world is there's so much strength connecting and collaborating because when you can lean into somebody else knowing that you have uh you know one shared common values that you that you um, are for each other that you you want to support each other in ways that um, that everyone succeeds uh you know it's the person that receives the receives the referrals the that uh tends to be a taker that doesn't succeed, doesn't do well in this kind of environment. And it's, it's so exciting and quite rewarding actually. And it takes a lot of pressure off you when you know you have access to people who, who can fill in the gaps, who have areas of expertise that you're not good in. And it doesn't mean that you have to hand off your clients. It just means that you have this network of people that you can, you can reach out to and lean into and, you know, develop relationships with and trust with, of course. Uh, and that's why I think, you know, giver marketing is, is so strong because it provides that opportunity for, for you to be a part of something where, you know, it's pretty clear that it's a values driven company that, you know, the founder has his background uh, in ministry. 
a lot of people who are associated with the with the network are people of faith you know and and for me at least i i like that i can i i know that the people uh who are part of this organization have have the value system that have a shared value system in that way mm -hmm. so um the next thing so you go from making sure you're clear to connections and the things about connections it, it's largely around the trust building piece so if you want to build connections with people within the net, a network or build your own network you have to have consistency you have to be a person of character and you have to have good communication skills and i just mm -hmm. throw that out there if anyone has any comments on those things absolutely and you need to be nurturing your connections so it's not just make one connection with somebody have one meeting it's nurture them take that time schedule that out within your you know every quarter that you're going to go back and nurture the people who you start who you met past quarter for example purposes and see where they're at oh was that a good conversation oh did i refer christine a client wonder if they actually met and how did that go i'm going to go back to that you know that three-way conversation possibly that you may have set up on linkedin and pop in there and say hey christine and tim i i referred you guys you know a few months ago how did that conversation go like just following up with those and nurture 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 be that nurturing person and that's where like tim has here the consistency and character and communication character is key so if you're somebody that's just like oh it's one and done um you're gonna have a little bit harder time to collaborate with other people because people aren't gonna know where you stand so nurture your client uh, connections nurture go back follow up with your referrals and make sure that um everything's kind of okay because people it's not that people don't want to come back and and update you literally we get so busy we don't even quite remember ourselves where this came from like i had that conversation just before we went live we you know wasn't sure where i connected with someone and a quick jog of my memory is like oh yeah i know now so be that nurturing person as well with all of this connection connecting that you're doing right very much so consistency consistently nurturing because when you think about it one and done you don't really have a chance to get to know anybody that well to develop the relationship that much so we can do business with people we know like and trust right if somebody's going to be a good synergy partner a good partner for you to work with you want to make sure that you're developing that relationship right it's kind of like um you know, if you were dating and you only saw somebody once every six months, you're probably not really dating them, are you? You know, so if you want to build that relationship, it's got to be a little bit more frequent, a little bit more, hey, a little more consistent there, right? <laughs> so, yeah, absolutely. Right. And getting to know that um, person, uh, not like in depth personal level, but you should invite them to a social gathering, right? Um, because that will establish that connection even further, getting to know who they are, what they think, how they feel, how they work is actually very important because then that will give you an idea as to which clients to refer to them, right? Um, you don't want to refer them clients that are going to be excruciating and painful as well either. So having different um, opportunities to meet them in person if possible, or even over, over Zoom and just have like a social gathering is a very good idea. Absolutely. that That's a really good point of keeping that, um, that nurturing going where you're like, um, I take notes during all meetings that I have with people. And so I warn them, like, I am listening, but I am also taking notes. And so, and so you, if you do look away, they're not like, oh, she's bored or something like that. It's more, I'm ensuring that later on after this conversation, I have good information to refer back to. So when we're looking at them and, and nurturing that and continuing that connection, you already have a good base for everyone that you've already spoken with as well. So I'm always encouraging notes as well on everyone you speak to. So. I see a couple of people entered the panel. Uh, it'd be nice to hear from you guys and just introduce yourselves. 
Well, and I know Suzanne, I know she's got a lot of experience with communication and that's one of her big things. Suzanne, I'd love to hear your input on this. Well, I appreciate you uh, putting me in, let, allowing me to join. So I appreciate uh, Christine and sharing this opportunity. And I am a fairly new uh, Keller Williams agent out of the Allen office. And uh, I come from uh, working in corporate America, supporting executive assistants, or I'm sorry, su supporting C-level executives for over 25 years. So it is very much about uh, connection, building relationships um, on both levels, and uh, certainly in real estate, it's really about listening and building those connections, even if those connections are from agent to agent, or from, from, from agent or to client, or even to trusted between myself and a trusted partner or small business. So all of that are just examples of uh, some collaboration that um, I do on my end. Joel, what's going on? Oh, hey. So uh, fun. Kind of sorry to kind of come in from behind here as, uh, <laughs> as we wrapped up a major tech headache. But um, I love the idea of collaboration and was actually working in LinkedIn and asking the questions uh, for how to make a good referral. So um, I'll ask if I see that person's profile and it sparks an idea that maybe they are a good fit for one of my other uh, referral partners. You know, I'll ask them, hey, do you work in this industry? Do you have opportunity uh, to serve in this capacity? And then, um, you know, start the, uh, you know, the referral ping pong that we, we talk about in the network all the time. Guys, I have another meeting, but I would love to come back. If these are regular meetings, I would love to get to know you better. Um, I'm going to put my uh, calendar information in case any of you want to book uh, a meeting with me. I would love to get to know you guys better. And uh, Christine, if you let me know when the next meeting is, I'll, I'll make sure it's on my calendar. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, we'll start dropping some contact information in chat. And we love having you here and you sharing with us because we know you're another one of the marketing professionals. So if you want to collaborate, this is the place to be, right? So come hang out with our, our marketing professionals. I'm actually going to drop a link in chat, which is going to be a link to the Facebook group for Giver Marketing. So if anybody's watching, they say, you know what, this collaboration thing sounds like fun. I think I want in on this, right? Come join our group. It's a group of collaborating marketers. We encourage all businesses and all industries to come hang out with us and have some fun and uh, work together and see how we can help one another uh, grow. And I see we've got um, Ashley Kinney's also like, popping in. Hi, Ashley. Welcome. <laughs> all right. Bye, everybody. Bye, Christy. Thanks for popping in. So um, Ashley is actually does all the marketing for her um, family business and uh, your web guys. So another web developer. So I know she's greatly involved and she also has a nonprofit. Um, Ashley, you there? Well, maybe it's not working up. Oh, here we go. <laughs> this one might have the audio. <laughs> Hi, Ashley. Hey. Welcome. So I was just introducing you and that uh, you do a lot of marketing yourself. And there she went. Okay, well, there it is. <laughs> it's all good. Hey, we will just keep continuing going with the flow. That's what we do around here. Uh, so the consistency, character, communication, all key to collaboration. I, I think this is a great list, Tim, right here. Well, then the final, uh, the final slide of the three, I think, um, keys to effective collaboration is the contribution piece to be generous, to demonstrate competence and be solution minded. And I, I, I know that I, in my case, anyway, um, it takes a bit of time to solidify or to, uh, for me to feel I have the confidence in somebody before I start making referrals, because there's nothing worse than saying, Oh, I was in a networking meeting and this 
this this gal she said she does graphic design um you know so you might want to try her out and, and obviously that's not the best scenario because if you aren't familiar with her work uh, and you can't say with full confidence that this is somebody that you have worked with and would recommend others to work with, I wouldn't make the re referral. <laughs> so um, make sure that if in whatever space that you're that you're um, you're in that, that you know your special your specialty is um, competence is really important because obviously you you don't want to misrepresent yourself and you don't want to let down the people who are putting their trust in to you as as we do i mean a big part of collaboration is is trust and if 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 i'm say if i'm thinking i want to be generous with my with my time and my experience and with my network of the people that i know and that i meet i also want to know that the people that I'm working with can demonstrate that they they know what they're doing. So I would say that that's important to important part of the consideration as you you're looking to collaborate. So you yourself make sure that you have the skills that you need to to deliver for the people that are referring you, and make sure that you take the time to to understand or to know and to work with uh, people to who you may want to may want to refer. Uh, too. So, and then the then the last thing is this this being solution minded, is there's always going to be there going to be issues that come up, uh, and the last thing you want to do is start pointing fingers. Uh, I I hate the blame game and the shame game. Uh, shaming people and blaming them for things doesn't really help us to move forward. And no matter if it's you know your loved one or a business partner or a client asking the question is how can we get to the solution side of this is vital in, in, in good, healthy communication and collaboration. So I don't know, I'll open the floor here. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what, that's a perfect gateway to exactly why Giver Marketing Network exists. So the contribution, the generosity that we have, the trust level that we have built, so for myself personally, as being the team leader, I have been able to help other business owners actually with enough referrals that um, it's kind of a it's a bittersweet kind of thing. Um, they've been able to go out on their own and, and keep going really strong on their own because um, of our ability to connect people together within the network, so they are, they can move on. Um, obviously we love to have everyone that joins our network to stay within, but we also understand that we have individual businesses and part, the biggest thing for Timothy Morgan, who is our CEO, is that we are leaving that legacy and impact behind so that give our marketing for me personally, two years ago, when I joined, I had zero marketing knowledge and I was able to come in with my nurturing skills and grow my knowledge and now i have clients from this but then also my outside clients i learn from each individual that's in this room i learn from our network um because there's many people in here that have wiser years of wisdom that are way beyond me and it's it's very very important and helpful to have that collaboration and to be able to um, come together like that Absolutely. And I'd really like to have us tell some stories about successful collaborations. I mean, that's what I'd like to hear a little bit about, especially for our newbies that just popped in that haven't really had much chance to talk yet. I know, um, Ashley, you've got your nonprofit business accelerator. What kind of collaborations have you seen come out of that? Um, actually, I am in the parking lot at one of the boxer properties. You probably can't see it um, behind me, but... I'm collaborating with another image and brand consultant and coach that I need to connect you with. And we are going to start workshops up in January. So we're starting on the process of building those workshops and the deeper dive because 
businesses don't know how to run their finances or any of those processes of who should you go to for bookkeeping, Robert Grolla? Um, who should you go to for business, for getting guidance, uh, Christine? You know, um, so we're actually going to talk about that and the image that you need to portray for your business. And we'll start back with Business Accelerator in September, you know, once kids are back in school because everyone's on vacation and needed a break post-COVID to get a break from COVID. <laughs> Right. So we'll get back to those skills September and gearing up for the workshops and masterminds for January. Collaboration right there. Workshops, multiple professionals all coming together to help the greater good with the, the business community. I love it. Adam, what about you? What's going on with you? What have you what are some successful collaborations you've seen? Well, the one recently that I've been part of was uh, working on a book with Timothy Morgan which has not been published yet, <clears throat> still needs a few uh, few things to finalize uh, the, the final draft. And then, you know, publishing a book has lots of steps. <clears throat> um, but it was interesting how that collaboration, which I uh, chose to do, in general, I would say uh, to almost anyone who would ask me if I would write a book together with them, I would generally say no, unless you've written a book yourself, mm -hmm. uh, because I don't want it to be a one-sided collaboration. Mm -hmm. um, I made an exception for Timothy Morgan, and I'm super glad that I did, because some other people saw the work before it was even published and started giving me ghostwriting work. So it ended up uh, being a really interesting path to actually a, a brand new um significant stream of income for my business. So one, one of these days we'll get that book out. <laughs> that's right. And read it, see the brilliance that's in it. <laughs> that's awesome. And like even here today, there's myself, Tim and Adam have all been a part of this book and have all been a part of, you know, the process along the way. So here's the great example of that collaboration as well. And from the work that Adam has done within our network, it has led me to want to work and have a course with Adam as well. So that's the whole key. That's that's the great benefit of being in a network like this. You get to meet so many unique individuals and you get to, um, you just get to be a part of just so many awesome, awesome people. There's no way in this planet that I would ever be able to meet so many people without the internet and without online work and people collaborating together to send those to send those invitations back and forth. So yeah, it's 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 big. Yeah, I didn't mean to leave Stacy and Tim out of that collaboration. I mentioned Timothy Morgan, but <laughs> several other people on the call have been part of that collaboration as well. So I didn't mean to That's how collaborations work, right? They just grow and grow and grow, which is awesome. The more fingers you can get out there and getting involved in things. I was thinking, Joel, do you have any great collaborations that you uh, want to share? Opportunities that have come across your desk because of collaborations? Well, sure. I think, you know, it's been fun this last year or so that I've been part of the Giver Marketing Network is is the ability to lean on other services and to provide services to people within the network. Um, and, you know, it doesn't have to be any one big project. It could just be supporting me as a business or supporting you as a business in whichever role we choose. So, for example, within my business, uh, Vicki Christensen, who's a part of our network, she has her hands in a dozen or so of my clients, and um, I provide support for PPC and nurturing to a few people within the network, and then to rely on Laura and her team for things like, you know, uh, proofreading and business processes and things like that, and then to support other uh marketing professionals clients and helping them with their advertising needs or uh, nurturing needs so i think the biggest collaboration success for me is just the general network uh you know team attributes of being able to say hey i need to solve this issue who's around that can help out 
you know, and Christine, you've jumped in and done some great stuff. We've collaborated with, in the network with messaging, you know, and you've really taken over that task and done an amazing job. And I think, you know, the foundations of that, you know, grew out of team collaboration and, and now you're, you know, you're running an amazing lead on it. So, you know, there's, there's all of that going on and, and that just shows the strength of the quality of the people in the network to be able to say, hey, I can trust you. And like Tim was mentioning before, you know, they're credible, they're competent, and you can feel comfortable putting them in front of your client, knowing that they're not out to steal your client or undercut you in some way. Um, you know, everybody kind of shares in the in the results and in the, you know, and in the process. So that's that's probably been the most meaningful collaboration you know, in general is just being able to grow my business. Um, and now we've got a team of six people and, you know, we're, we're pumping along and it's largely because of the support of the, of the giver network. That's and awesome. In saying that, sorry to add on to that here. This is the key point. Collaboration doesn't only mean collaboration for financial gain. Mm -hmm. So we're collaborating for the nurturing gain as well and to gain those connections and to be to, to have that great integrity in when we're collaborating together so that's the other part too for for how our network works like yes of course we have a bottom line that everybody needs to keep a roof over their head obviously that is an unspoken rule with any type of collaboration or network that you're in but having that it's just our network really removes that fear. It really removes that fear of, like Joel just said, I don't have to worry about somebody undercutting me. There's no fear of that here because we have a high level of trust and we all communicate together very well in that. When you're working on a project together, we, we have those um, communications, whereas it's not... I'm just going to go around and go directly to this client. And there, to be quite honest, there has been a couple of times that that has happened directly to me, but I have gone back to that client and said, no, I'm sorry. This is a collaboration with my network and we need to have the, you know, everyone in place here. So it's also, that's part of my integrity to make sure that I know where my referrals are coming from and I know where my clients are coming from so that um, that doesn't happen. Right. Stacy, clear expectations, right? Anytime yeah, any kind absolutely. of partnership, any kind of collaboration, clear expectations is well, all it's about, right? When I connect people with my uh, CPAs, who's a bookkeeper, I let them know, okay, CPA is going to do the taxes. You're going to do the bookkeeping. Everybody stay in their lane. We're good, right? And it, right, good collaborations come all sorts of different shapes and sizes. We mentioned books, right? We've had that happen in the DFW Veterans Chamber of Commerce. Some of the members got together and did books. Then you can have creative things. We have have one who's got um, a brick and mortar cycling, you know, pro cycling thing where they go and you go ride the bikes together, right? Um, so he had giveaways going on with another one of the members who had cruise stuff, right? And so he was giving away vouchers. So they did giveaways from one business into the other business and collaborated their clients, right? So you can really get creative with the collaborations uh, when you, you start thinking outside the box and some of those possibilities. Anybody else want to share some more collaboration success stories? Suzanne. Well, I just want to give a shout out to uh, Christy. Christine and I are collaborating with a um, local cafe here. Um, family owned, a new business just down the street from where I live and really befriended um, them and they have gotten to be part of my family. And so it is um, very much of a risk uh, if you want to be honest, is to pull someone in and to really say, hey, I see some um, I see some areas where we can improve. I want to see them um, be successful. And so there is and but knowing that, OK, I see this issue, but I am not the expert. Uh, so I am the connector and know that, OK, Christine, you are the expert in this field, but I can certainly you know, I have that personal connection um, and, and certainly do not have other than um, sharing my information as the realtor that they know in the community. 
there, there's not really anything for me to gain other than having that relationship and, and extending and, and really knowing who, who are the experts. Um, so I'm helping Christine really execute and execute some things to really um, uh, build their, their cafe, their, their visibility, and um, we want to see them successful. Um, so it's, it's been Suzanne, a process. That's a, that's a perfect example of what Stacy was saying about it's not always about the bottom line, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're just building your community, right? You've got a local mm -hmm. restaurant you want to see succeed. Um, Veteran-owned restaurant, go ahead and mm -hmm. plug it. <laughs> yeah, yes, the yes, the Java. Java. <laughs> So support the veteran owned yeah. businesses there. Absolutely. Right. Um, and, and, and that's what it's about. It's supporting the community. I always say the tide rises all right. So if we're all working together to help each other, we all get to rise together and help each other grow together and do better and help our communities grow and be strong. So that's one of the qualities that I love about being part of the Giver Marketing Network. It's just, it's a different kind of thought process, right? Not everybody is, um, if you have a mindset of scarcity, right, then you're afraid to share. You're afraid, to, you're, you're operating out of fear and you can't be successful when you're operating out of fear. That's not a good motivator, right? To make changes and do what needs to happen. So that's one of the things that I love about being part of Giver Marketing. As soon as I saw the name, I was like, this is somebody I need to know. This is something I need to find out more about. Dove in and what a wonderful group. And we encourage everybody to come hang out with us, get to know us, come in, join our Facebook group. Um, I dropped that link in our chat. So click on that. Come join us. We invite everybody to come join us. All business owners, you don't have to be a marketer. If you're a marketer, come on board. If you're not, that's fine. Find, come in, come sneak in and get some advice from us. We love helping, collaborating and seeing people succeed. So come hang out with us in Giver Marketing. Be part of our tribe, right? Come hang out, have some fun. Anybody else have anything they want to share? Open in the floor. <laughs> well, I have these last two bonus, uh, the bonus slides. And Sounds good. Let's pop them up. Gets back to clarity and uh, basically knowing what problem you solve, uh, what do you want to be known for, what makes you unique, different from your, your com competitors. So the, the, the key to great collaboration is to know really your, your lane, your space. Um, you know, if you're familiar with Donald Miller's work in marketing, uh, you, you've heard of the, the um, SB, the story brand seven, uh, framework, which is essentially you, you are the guide, you're the, you're the Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're the, you're the, um, the guru in your space. And as the guru, you need to, you need to have uh, a, a pathway, a clear way that you show people how to move from where they are to where they want to be. Or if they don't know that they need to be someplace, you need to educate them on you know, where, where they are and you understand the problems that they're, that they're, they're struggling with the pain points that they have and that you can help them accomplish these things or achieve these things or experience these things. So uh, a big part of being able to collaborate with people is to know as specific as you can, what problem you solve. And if everyone in your network can, very explicitly say, this is the problem I solve. This is the problem I solve. This is the problem I solve. It's so much easier than if you have a network and you have people that say, well, I'm a web designer or I'm a graphic artist or I'm a SEO specialist. Well, that's not specific enough because there are so many people that do those things. If we run into people who have specific needs, we have to know the specific person to point them to who is the specialist in, for example, uh, speedy websites. I, I met a guy, he specializes in super fast websites. Now, there are some people who need really fast websites. And, and if there was somebody I met like that, I would send them to, to speak with them. Uh, the last line is know your audience, know what they really want what they fear and what they aspire to be. So uh, 
you know, so when, when it comes to meeting people and you know the, the solution to the problem that you solve isn't the one that you, you, that you solve, but you know someone else who does, then you can say, I know someone who can help you deal with to accomplish that or to get that or to overcome that um, or help you to become that. So those are my, my thoughts on, on uh, just knowing yourself, knowing your niche and your area of, of specialty. <clears throat> those are great thoughts. And, you know, Tim, I, I was just reflecting on our Slack channel. You know, if you're a certified coach and a member of the Giver Network uh, and on the Slack channel, that's a perfect opportunity to get those one-on-ones, to get more clarity on who the partners are and how you can collaborate more efficiently together. Um, and I think one of the hugest benefits of the network is our Slack communication being able to just pop in with a question and get an answer from someone that really knows. I mean, we've had several in the past week, where, you know, we're, we're a couple of weeks where someone's just said, hey, I'm stuck on this. Anyone have any ideas? And the solution comes rolling in from two or three different perspectives. So, you know, having this team of high level professionals and an open line of communication is an amazing mastermind. Um, so, you know, I would encourage anyone that's in the Slack channel, if they haven't had time to get to know people on a deeper level, they really take advantage of that. It could be amazingly not only resourceful, but profitable for you in the long run. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And that's that's exactly why we um, moved into the Slack channel. Instead of pre-Slack, we were on Facebook um, with a Facebook you know, messenger chat and um, we weren't able to to do nearly as much as what we are on the Slack channel. And that is the, uh, that's a great point I'm gonna keep coming back to, is the community that we offer within Giver Marketing Network. Um, that community is very faith-based. So I have even gone as far as to have questions in that regard and able to answer those, get some answers or get some clarities on that because of the amazing people that are willing to share their wisdom with us, business, personal wise, um, how am I building relationships with my family, along with my um, network, uh, my cohort of business professionals as well. So there is so many benefits that I have personally got from being within the Giver Marketing Network. And I really encourage, encourage like Joel has said, um, to meet with everyone that's there and and just put that forward because you really don't know who you're going to meet and what words that even a 15 minute conversation could change your direction um, of your day. Or, you know, you could be really stuck on something and you don't even know what you're stuck on, but you have a conversation with someone and you're like, uh, bingo. Perfect. Thank you for that. You know, like you just, you just don't know. Like we have to always remember, even as humans in general, we don't know what we don't know and be okay with asking those questions to get those answers. And, and that's the beauty of collaboration, right? Being able to get the answers to questions that you have, right? So I'm gonna make a last plug right now for the Giver Marketing Network on the second Thursday of the month, right? So 10 a.m. Central, noon, and um, or 10 a.m. Pacific, noon Central, and 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That second Thursday of the month, we try and do some kind of master class challenge like this where we kind of get out there and share and it's we're just doing it to help people and we want to see you do well in your business and, and succeed so feel re free to reach out to us and um, come hang out in the group with us you can tag any of us that you want a lot of their contact information is then dropped into the chat area so that you can uh, reach out and, and connect with all of us because we're here as resources and we want to help that's what giver marketing is all about and then on every Tuesday we have a challenge and it has to do with marketing so if you're interested in finding out more about marketing for your business you want to kind of come in and hang out in that group I just mentioned so that you can find out more about the challenges that we have going. So we'll challenge you in social media, in LinkedIn, all sorts of fun, wonderful ways to help build your business. So if that sounds like something that interests you, we encourage you to come hang out with us. We're here to help. We're a resource and we love to serve. So please join us with Giver Marketing Network. 
Anyone else signing out? We good? Say goodbye, Internet. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Look forward to seeing more people. We will see you soon. Thanks, y'all.